Hey everybody, Sarah, AKA Meal Prep and Mom. Right now though, I'm gonna show you another workout for your week. Today's Thursday, January the 9th, and I just got done rowing 1,000 meters for my warm up. So now we're gonna get into the actual workout itself, and I'm going to show you a few things. I'm gonna start off by taking my new dumbbells that my hubby and I picked out. I'm gonna show you how to do a couple exercises with these new dumbbells, so check this out. Alrighty, so today I have planned primarily to work our chest muscles. Yes, even though we're not males, we still can build up our chest muscles so we have strength uh, in that area specifically. So I'm gonna show you some chest exercises, but I'm also gonna start us off with doing an ab exercise. So I have a 10 pound dumbbell here. There it is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it in our arm of choice to start out. And we're gonna put our, our hand up behind our head. In this case, I'm holding the dumbbell on my right. My left arm is behind my head. And we're gonna open our legs up. Just shoulder length apart. We're gonna dip our right side down. And we're gonna come back up and we're gonna squeeze the left side. So what this is doing is working our obliques. Our obliques are part of our abs, part of our core muscles. And without those core muscles being built up, we are weak in all other areas of exercise. Our core is our foundation. So you're just gonna do 15 of these on each side. And then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. All right, everybody, moving right along to our next exercise. These are gonna be chest flies, and they're gonna be on a slight incline, so you will need to incline yourself somehow. I have an incline bench that is already set up and in that position, as you can see, and uh, this, this bench actually moves up and down so I can adjust it to make it a flat bench or have it on an incline like I do. Right now I'm gonna warm up for my first set of uh, chest flies using round 2.5 pound uh, plates. So you're just gonna see me go through the warm up. I'm gonna do 10 or 15 of these and then I will increase the weight as I go up in sets. So check this out. You're gonna position yourself on the seat, lay back on an incline, put your elbows into your ribs to get your positioning correct and lay your head back. You're going to open up your arms like you're going to give the air a big hug. You're going to drop your elbows down on either side of the seat and you're going to squeeze the chest in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, remember squeezing the chest muscles, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What if you don't have uh, an incline bench at home? What can you use? That might be somebody's question. So what I would do is I would maybe lay myself on my bed and I would put my head towards, you know, the foot of my bed and I would uh, do my best in a, in a corner of the bed, I should actually say. Put my head in the corner of a bed. Here, I'll use my seat as an example here. If you can visually see this. So you, this, is, this is your square bed, okay, the seat is the bed. I would put my head in the corner of the bed and I would then fly my arms out on either side because if we put our head here at the foot of the bed, our arms would stop. We want our arms to slightly bend back as we're doing that exercise. Has you seen me doing it on the seat? So we improvise. If we don't have a bench or we're not gym members, we do what we can to incorporate all types of exercise, no matter if we're using the actual gym equipment or if we are using something around our house. If you don't have weights, then what can we do? 
use soup cans, use milk containers, use jugs of any sort filled with any type of liquid to give you the weights. Moving on to the next exercise. All right, so now you can see that I've laid my bench flat. So we are going to do some uh, flat bench chest presses, okay? So I'm gonna lay flat back on the bench and you can see what that looks like. Using our dumbbells, five pounds. Making sure your arms are in a nice straight line across and we're going to press up with our dumbbells. If your arms are flailing or they're wobbly, anything like that, you need to decrease your weight and make sure that you're in proper form at all times so you do not have any type of injury occur during the exercise. You need to fully be able to control the weight that you're using, so make sure you choose the weight wisely because nobody wants to get hurt. Turn them in, bring them down safely, and you can even drop them to the floor. If they're rubber weights, that is. We have rubber weights, so we can drop them on the floor, which is a nice thing, because if you're feeling fatigued in any way, you drop them, and you're safe, and you're protected. So that was the difference between chest flies on an incline and doing the dumbbell uh, flat bench presses to work the chest muscles. Moving right back into our side oblique crunches with the dumbbells. You can see I've increased my weight to 15. So again, feet shoulder width apart, hand behind your head, and you're dipping down and coming up. Remember to squeeze. You're squeezing the side where your arm is up behind your head. In my case, this is my left side right now. And again, I'm gonna do my other side. So, I showed you two different types of exercises to work your chest. What's the other exercise we're all sure that works our chest? push-ups, right? So we did push-ups on Monday. Guess what? We're going to do some more for Thursday. If you can't do a push-up, hold yourself in a plank. You can always drop your knees down and pick up your toes in the back like that, but get the push-ups done however you can because this is another chest exercise to build up our chest muscles. So this is what the boys or the guys like to call girly push-ups. Well, guess what? Even if you're doing a girly push-up, as long as you bring yourself down all the way, you're definitely going to feel it. So make whatever attempt you can to get your push-ups in as well. Moving on to another ab exercise for our obliques. So we're going to come down onto our hip and we are going to come down on our forearm on the one side to start. Tuck your legs up. You can keep your hand behind your head. You're gonna straighten the legs out and you're gonna crunch up. Stretch yourself down and crunch up. and you're gonna do about 10 or 12 on each side. So of course I'm a mom, right? So I have my little girl here, Cameron, say hi to everybody. Hi. So she's gonna show you how to do the exercise as well. So her forearm is down on the floor, as you can see. We're gonna straighten this out a bit. And we're gonna bring your hand up behind your head. 
and get on your hip fully a little bit more for everybody. You're wearing black, so it's hard to see. Okay, and you're going to crunch your knees in. Her legs are straight and she's going to crunch her knees in. And again. Okay, two, three, and you should be feeling that on the side of your stomach right here, right? When you're crunching, you feel it right there? Good. So she's gonna do her set of this with mommy today. All right, mommy daughter push-up time. Cameron, let's go. She's gonna get down in the complete proper form for you and she's gonna do a full push-up and go. One, two, three. We're gonna go to 10, four, five. See how she's fully coming down. Her body is nice and parallel the whole way. Seven, eight, nine and ten all right awesome job mom's turn here we go just so we're doing it together full push-ups she can go down further than i can at this point because of my shoulder injury i'm still working on building up my strength So, there it is. We gave you the girly version of a push-up and we gave you the complete flat traditional push-up all the way down to the floor. So that is your snowy Thursday workout from Sarah, AKA Meal Prep and Mom with Mommy and Daddy Fitness. Thank you, Cameron, for helping me out today. It was fun. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your Thursday. This weekend, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel. I'd like to show you guys some yoga this weekend. And what we're gonna be focusing on in the video is balance. So keep that in mind and if you enjoy yoga or it's something you'd like to try for the first time, check out my video this weekend. I look forward to seeing you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Mommy Daddy Fitness. Have an awesome rest of your day, guys.